Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fancy Football. Now in the last video I asked you guys who should I bring to my team? Mkhitaryan, Martial, Silva or Paul Pogba? A lot of people actually mentioned Mkhitaryan. So I went, okay cool, let me go and add him to my team and I saw that his price went up by 1. So he was 8 Point one, and I couldn't fit him into my team. I was so devastated. Oh my god, I was so pissed off. So I thought, you know what, I have to make a decision now, uh, just in case that other people don't get that price rise. And I added Paul Popper. To be honest with you, Paul Popper was my second option. Mkhitaryan and Silva was my first option because I did want to somehow like double up on CE players. But I went for Paul Popper. Now, to be honest with you, this is actually a not a bad choice because he's going to be playing every single game. I'm, I'm pretty sure on that. And the way Manchester United is playing right now with Matic next to him, I feel like he can just do a little bit more than last season. People did mention uh, players like Ramsey as well. And to be honest with you, I love Ramsey. I think he's a goal scorer. I mean, he's a threat. Um, the only problem is his injury prone. And... Uh, you know, he's not even in the Arsenal's first team yet. Now, I know there's Stoke coming up, so, I, you know, we just got to see what happens. I mean, if he does play for like full 90 minutes, then he is going to be a great, great option from an Arsenal player. So, all I wanted to do in this video is give you guys my team update for game week 2. And then, I would like to talk about Gilfrey Sigerson. So let's have a look at Gilfrey Sigerson. So he is owned by 6% so far. So this is Friday, um, 6%, and I'm pretty sure that's going to rise uh, dramatically in the next few days. His price of 8.5 is, pu is, is putting me off just a little bit. I mean, 8.5 is not too bad, but it's just, I don't know what it is. 8.5 just seems to be a lot. Um, and... There's probably a reason why he is 8.5. So let's have a quick look at his previous seasons. Uh, last year, he scored 9 goals and assisted 13. I'm going to also count the clean sheets as well because they do add 1 point to his um, total points. And he had 7 clean sheets, which is pretty damn decent, to be honest with you. And it's not the fact that, you know, he scored 9 and assisted 13. His price was 7.4 I think he was around 7.0 when he started I mean that price is ridiculous if he was like 7.5 um, or maybe even 8.0 for this season I'm pretty sure that everyone I mean a lot of managers is going to add Gilfrey Sigurdsson to their team now the only reason why he would be a great option is because when he was at Swansea he took all the free kicks, he took all the corners, and he took, I think, he took all of the penalties as well. So he pretty much was like a bonus magnet. So every time when there was a goal from Swansea City, then you knew that Gilfie Sickerson was actually had something to do with it. But there is this big if. Because in Swansea City, he had all these options. He had all the free kicks, all the corners, everything. But now that he's at Everton right now, you got Leighton Baines, who's actually taking free kicks and some of the corners. Um, there's Rooney there, who takes penalties. There's Morales, who takes penalties as well, and some of the corners and some of the free kicks as well. There's a lot of players in that Everton team that actually takes a lot of set pieces. If Giffy Sigerson takes all of the corners, or probably most of the corners, free kicks, and maybe one or two penalties, then I feel like he is going to be a great, great option to actually bring into our fantasy football teams. But that's only an if. That's a massive if. And there's a massive risk involved as well. Because 8.5 is actually really, really high. And um, if he doesn't take penalties. If he doesn't take all of the corners. Or maybe the free kicks as well. Then there is this problem that we're going to have. Where he's not going to get all of these goals. And all of these assists as well. Um, but you never know what can happen. I mean, being in a better team, that means he might even help. So what I would suggest is, just wait. Um, just wait and see. I'm pretty sure he's not going to play the first game uh, against you know Manchester City. And I feel like you should wait just a little bit more because he is, I mean, 
the Everton is playing against Manchester City next and then they got Chelsea and then they got Spurs at home and then Man United away. So, if you ask me the question, if I ever would consider this player, yes, I would, but not now. I would consider him after in Manchester United. As you can see, there's Bournemouth and there's lovely Burnley as well at home. Just wanted to give you guys some suggestions and uh, just some of my opinions as well. I mean, my opinions might not be the correct one. However, it's just how I feel. Um, I feel like you just have to wait for Giver Stickers and see what he does, see what kind of set pieces that he's going to be taking. And then uh, I'll say just wait a little bit, just get these fixtures here and then bring him into your team. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy that. I mean, let me know in the comments below if you like these kind of um, videos where I'll talk about an ind individual player uh, a little bit in depth. And uh, yeah, just good luck. Um, good luck on your game week two. Um, if anyone wants to join um, my league, I'll put the um, the code um, below into the description. And uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, come give this video a like because it helps a lot. Um, come subscribe because I'll make at least three to four videos a week for fantasy football. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.